Thank you for joining Next Labs. Today's topic, we will be discussing Team Center Digital Rights Management. The data that we will be using in this demo is as follows. We have Ed, Steve, and Hal. Ed has a classification of top secret and secret. Steve has a classification of secret and Hal with a classification of public. Those classifications will be used in determining what part of the valve assembly, in this case, the entire assembly or parts of that valve assembly each user can see based on policy that will be in place in order to allow or disallow access. So here we will start off at Team Center with Ed. He will look at the assembly for the valve that we just mentioned. As you can see, some of the parts are labeled secret. We can go out and view these properties. When we scroll down, in this case, we're going to use the IP classification attribute within Team Center. In this case, the classified is secret. Here we'll see a top secret part as well. Again, look at the properties of that and scroll down to the IP classification. We will see that that's set up for top secret. So these values are predetermined, put into the IP classification within Team Center itself. And NextLab then does the protection and builds the policy off of those values that it evaluates. So here we will see, in this case, Ed's going to open up Skydia Run Desktop. We'll see that Ed is logged on to it. And now he's loading up NX. And here we will see the valve assembly and all the parts that are part of that. Since Ed is the project owner, uh, he, said he sees everything there and can see all the rights. So in this case, he can view the next lab rights to this file and we'll see what parts are protected as well as not protected uh, and what the capabilities are for the parts that are protected uh, as far as what he's allowed to do with them, be view, save, print, share, export, etc. Ed can now go out in this case, he's going to export the valve assembly out as a JT file. We'll now see that that valve assembly is now listed. Again, all the parts are specified here. Again, we will see different parts. At this point, Ed's going to go in on the local drive and load up the parts. So in this case, he's in JT to go, and he's able to view the valve assembly within here. Now we're logged on as Steve, again within Team Center. And now we'll see that Steve's logged on to SkyDRM as well. So within Team Center, Steve can now go out and look at that same valve assembly that Ed originally classified parts for with different IP classifications. So here NX is going to be loaded for Steve. And you'll notice that there's two files he can't open. And the reason being, from the beginning, he's only allowed to look at secret documents. So in this case, those two files that are classified as top secret, he cannot view. So you can see the rest of the valve assembly, just not those two parts uh, that he doesn't have access to. And as we could see, the two top secret parts are grayed out and he can't view them.
Now we'll see that Steve's going open on the desktop. That's save valve assembly. In this case, when he opens it up, once again, we'll see that he can see the valve assembly itself minus the two parts that he doesn't have access to because they're top secret. Here we'll see that Hal's not the, the team center, as well as Hal's logged in to SkyDRM. So now we're down to our third user that's logged on. Once again, Hal can go in, again, review the listing for that valve assembly. Here, how we'll load up NX through Team Center as well. Again, this is a different user's view. In this case, he can't open four of the files. So he has even less capabilities as far as being able to see uh, parts of that assembly for the valve housing, uh, as well as the other parts that he cannot open. So these are the ones that they deemed necessary for how to be able to look at, uh, make comments on, and work on but he can't look at the other ones because they are commented out, or in this case, grayed out. So here we have the top secret as well as the secret. So he has both of those that he cannot view because of those classifications. And once again, we will see how now load up the one that's on his desktop, open that valve assembly, and with it JT to go, again, he's going to be given messages stating that he can't view certain aspects of this valve assembly because he doesn't have access because they're secret or top secret files. This concludes our demonstration. Thank you for joining.